one could argue a good scenario is already priced into stocks, a vaccine rollout, some kind of agreement eventually getting done on stimulus, for example. So what would then be the next catalyst to take us higher? Let's bring in George Ball. He is Sanders Morris Harris, CEO. George, it's good to talk to you. So I guess the other question would be, do we even need another catalyst or is it just enough that we'll see stocks drift higher because we've got the Fed underpinning things, we've got a lot of cash in the system. Uh, what do you think in terms of the next move upward? Well, Julie, as you say, the market is is gasping and grasping for some new leadership uh, signal. Uh, vaccines, virus, stimulus spending are, are all rather well priced into the market. People have different uh, expectations, but they're pretty much there as knowns in the marketplace. I, I think the next move, especially if you're a trader, is probably greed. Uh, and there's a greed catalyst out there that I think is is very influential. George, uh, so if the greed is the next element here, I mean, that to me sounds like we could see another 10, 15, 20 percent move in the markets over the next few months. Uh, a, a, we could. Uh, B, I'm actually talking, don't usually do this, about the shorter term element. Uh, and it is the greed of a Wall Street trader who gets paid his or her bonus based on results at year end. Um, in 75 percent of the years, in which the markets were higher at the end of November, they went up further in December. Now, part of that you can say is the Santa Claus uh, rally theory, but uh, Virginia may be right, but that, and there is a Santa Claus, but it doesn't exist on Wall Street. The, the fact is that people who get paid a percentage of the profits that they make, generally at the end of the year, will often buy more of the same stocks or bonds. Uh, in the month of December to protect that bonus element. Now, they're not doing anything wrongful. They're buying the things that they like the best, but there's a very strong bias to see prices higher in December when the year has been up so far. Now, is that a 20% move? No, but if you look beyond it, there are some other very positive catalysts for the market, I think, that aren't priced there yet. And George, I'd love to get your thoughts on what some of those catalysts might be, because we have seen um, a lot of enthusiasm, particularly around the vaccine and what 2021 might look like here in the U.S., hopefully a lot more normal than 2020 was. Um, that feels like it's being priced in today. Are, what catalysts are you looking at as we get towards towards next year? Probably three that are very influential and that aren't there, uh, aren't there by there, I mean priced into the market yet. Um, one is that there's going to be a good deal of spending, uh, whether it, and it's likely to be in infrastructure first and before anything else, but that's going to be a major economic stimulus for, uh, for the markets. And infrastructure is something where Republicans and Democrats can uh, broadly uh, agree. Uh, the second factor that, that isn't there yet is an intangible, and that it, is the evidence that President-elect Biden is using unification as his primary theme. Uh, unification is good for psychology. Uh, look back to the President Reagan era where he made people feel good. And I think that's a second major factor that, that isn't there in the marketplace yet. And, and the third is that People, and particularly the younger do-it-yourselfers, the Robin Hood traders, are discovering individual equities as a place of interest. Uh, part of it speculative, part of it interest. And they're a bigger and bigger factor in the market and tend to be on the bull side as opposed to the, the contrary. So three big pluses that aren't priced into the market yet that could easily push the S&P over 4,000 sometime before mid-year next year. George, you mentioned sentiment, and I do want to ask you what you're hearing from clients, particularly because I think it's valuable to hear from people who are outside of Wall Street um, physically in a different geographic area. You're down in Houston. And so 
I'm curious what you are hearing on that front. And in particular, wealthy clients who may be happy about that unification theme you were talking about, but maybe not so happy anticipating an increase in, in their taxes. Is that something you're worried about? And is that affecting the positioning in the market? Um, all of life is after tax. Uh, and higher taxes will impact the wealthy. They'll impact stocks. They'll impact uh, uh, higher housing prices. They impact everything. So on a relative brace, basis, all those taxes will go up. And that's not... Uh, good for people who want to keep more of what, what they've earned. Uh, it's not apt to be a major deterrent out of stocks into other value sets.